Orcas, dolphins, seals, penguins, and even the cute little sea otter hold some of the most disturbing secrets you will ever hear about. How these psychopaths have built up such a wholesome image of themselves is beyond me, and I have to warn you, some of the factoids in this video are rather grim indeed, and you will never look at these majestic creatures the same way again. Anyways, if you are still here, then get your snacks ready, and let's dive into the sinister world of these maniacs. Now, the first animal we shall explore is responsible for single-handedly annihilating entire ecosystems ecosystems in just a few hours. You see, on this beach in Gansby, a small town in the Western Cape province of South Africa, something extremely sinister went down. Overnight, at least 20 sharks were found washed up on the beach, all of them missing their livers. After some investigation, it was clear that this was not the work of aliens, nor was it the lizard people. It was actually just two batshit crazy orcas committing some tomfoolery. This has actually happened on several occasions, as orcas have somehow found out that the liver is not only the best tasting part of the shark's body, but coincidentally also the most nutritious. These waters are also usually packed with great white sharks, but this orca duo regularly scares them all away. Imagine being such a menace that not even the most feared shark on the planet dares to play with you. Now, you might be thinking that these shark raids aren't really that disturbing. I mean, it's just a bunch of flipping sharks. They don't even have the brain capacity or nerve endings to feel or understand what's happening. But this chick definitely does. You see, Orcas are also known for literally French kissing your mum. I mean, massive ass whales, then taking their tongue on the way out. This has been observed several times. You might be asking yourself, why doesn't the whale just dive? As it can most definitely dive deeper than the orcas can follow. But orcas are smart and devious creatures, as they usually only target whale mothers with cubs, since a whale mother will never abandon its young. And the reason it does not simply just close its mouth is because the orcas will literally ram it for several hours until it's so exhausted that it lacks the strength to even keep its mouth closed. Closed. As you may have noticed, orcas have a very strange and oddly specific taste when it comes to food. It might even seem a bit random, but it's actually not. You see, orcas only get a single set of teeth, and with a lifespan of up to 90 years, they would be fools to neglect their dental health like you do. This could also explain why they routinely choose to eat foods that are soft, as it would inflict less wear and tear on their teeth in the long run. Just like you, orcas are also notorious for playing with their food. This is probably the worst thing they do to other marine life, except for the whale tongue thing. Instead of simply revoking their prey's life membership in a quick and easy manner, they drag it out over several hours. Look at this dude, for example, getting yeeted into orbit for absolutely no reason at all. So the orca is in many ways the biggest menace of the entire ocean, but it definitely has a lot of close competition like the plain old dolphin. You probably have this image of dolphins as cute little sea puppies that save humans from sharks on a daily, but that's a wildly naive point of view. You see, dolphins are not only one of the biggest substance abusers in the Great Seven Seas, but they also have a crazy, uncontrollable hormone own game. Let me explain. In order to fuel their substance addictions, they will basically kidnap pufferfish, which contain a toxin that could be life-threatening for you and me within minutes of intake. However, dolphins are so large that they can tolerate it, and they pretty much just get high off the little sucker. They will even pass it around, making sure everyone gets a little hit of the puffer. Dolphins will also try to mate with pretty much anything, including humans, but it gets even worse. You see, larger groups of male dolphins will basically single out a female and basically run a train on her for weeks at a time. Truly disturbing indeed. And just to add a little extra salt to the wound, dolphins also have a prehensile, hook-shaped slong, basically making any chance of escape impossible. Now, one thing the dolphin has going for it is that that, unlike orcas, they aren't really into the whole torture thing, although they have been observed slapping some fish around, but that seems to just be a hunting strat on their part. Next up, we have the sea otter, which I kinda covered in my last video, which you should watch after this one, but I'll include some additional facts about them now. Although this creature seems to come straight out of a Disney movie, don't let that fool you, as the sea otter might actually be the most disturbing creature in this entire video. These freaks have so many skeletons in their closet, it's actually concerning indeed. First up, male otters are known to take otter cubs hostage holding them underwater until their mother gives up her food. But that is literally child's play compared to this. If you watched my last video about the Otter family, then you know why these two seemingly cute pictures hold an incredibly sinister backstory. You see, male sea otters will partake in some unwanted hormone activity with seal cubs, which can actually last for several weeks. And I wish I could tell you that it stopped there, but the seal usually gets its life membership revoked. And again, I wish I could tell you that it stopped then and there, but sea otters don't really care if it has a pulse or not. They have even been observed doing the deed to deceased birds and even flipping dogs. This brutal form of hormonal activity also carries over to their own species, and actually around 4% of female otters succumb to damage inflicted during these activities. The wicked nature of the sea otter should not really be that surprising when you realize that they are also related to the ball-biting honey badger. 
and the bear-slapping wolverine, but the sea otter sure does outcompete them in the disgusting department. Congratulations, you've made it over the halfway mark. If you're not subscribed, then please do consider doing so, and let me know which of these animals you found the most disturbing so far. Now, the next animal on the list is actually a flightless bird, known as the penguin. This addition to the video might be a bit surprising, like what exactly could penguins possibly be up to that so disturbing? Well, first off, they literally kidnap other penguin chicks. But unlike the sea otter, this is not a hostage situation, but an actual hostile takeover. You see, penguins have an incredibly strong urge to be a parent, so if they lack essential game like you do, they will basically steal someone else's chick. And by chick, I mean a baby penguin, not a female. But unfortunately, these kidnappings are pretty rough events, and usually lead to the chick being unsubscribed from life due to injuries. And in some rare occasions, when food has been scarce, penguins have been seen munching down on their own chicks. But this is not common at all. It's usually just a result of extremely stressful conditions, which can cultivate very abnormal behaviours. Again, like the sea otters, penguins are also no stranger to the forbidden deed. You see, some males are so damn bad that they can't even distinguish between females with a life essence and females with no life essence. Truly disturbing indeed. The last psychopath of the seven seas we shall dive into is the good old sea puppies, which of course is a far too innocent nickname for these mad lads. Seals are known to commit a lot of tomfoolery, like stealing food from each other or attacking surfers just for fun. They even pull random people into the ocean for no reason at all, as they don't really view humans as food. So most seals do not really possess the same disturbing mating behaviours as some of the others in this video, except for elephant seals, which can be extremely forceful during mating seasons, often causing a lot of harm. But then again, they kind of look like the type of dude to be doing these sorts of things anyway. Now, before I end the video, I need to show you the holfin, which is truly an ungodly sight indeed. I didn't know this thing even existed until someone commented about it on one of my videos. Apparently, it's a rare hybrid between a female dolphin and a false killer whale, so it basically got the teeth and head of an orca and the slim body of a common dolphin. Hopefully, it does not share the same psychotic mindset as them, though. The behaviours we've witnessed in today's video from the likes of sea otters, dolphins and orcas may seem disturbing or even shocking from a human viewpoint. Actions ranging from aggressive territorial disputes to unorthodox mating behaviours. It's essential to approach these revelations with an understanding that what we're observing is an intrinsic part of nature's balance. These behaviours, even though they may be startling to us, are vital for the survival of these species. They aren't acts of malice, but rather instincts honed over millennia, ensuring the continued existence of these animals in their complex and often harsh marine environments. So labelling these creatures as evil for their natural instincts, and basically imposing our own human morals onto a world where such concepts don't even apply is wrong indeed. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then maybe watch some of my other videos on screen, and I will see you in the next one.